Hello everyone, this is Harish Pant and in this video we will see what is Hyper-V and how to install Hyper-V feature in a system. Hyper-V is actually a virtualization technology through which we can create multiple virtual machines in a single physical system and all those virtual machines will work as a separate physical machine. For example, suppose we have to run multiple operating systems simultaneously for that purpose we will be needing multiple physical machine but using Hyper-V we can run multiple operating systems simultaneously in a single physical system we can understand this by taking an example suppose we have to run Windows 8 any server operating system and Linux operating system simultaneously for that purpose we will be needing three physical machines but using Hyper-V we can create three virtual machine in a single physical system and we can run and install all three operating systems simultaneously in the same physical machine so this is the benefit of Hyper-V feature there are some terms that are being used in Hyper-V terminology one of those term is known as host host is actually the system in which we are installing the Hyper-V role another term is known as guest guest is actually the virtual machines that we will be creating in Hyper-V and the operating system that we will be installing on those virtual machines are known as guest operating systems and we need to remember one thing that the host and all the guest systems will be utilizing the hardware resources of the same machine so we will be needing a good configuration system there are some system requirements for installing Hyper-V feature first if we talk about the operating system we need at least Windows 8 or higher operating system and that should be in 64-bit version because Hyper-V feature is supported by only 64-bit versions operating system we can also install Hyper-V feature in server operating system but we need at least Windows Server 2008 or higher or server operating system and processor should be second level address translation supported and nowadays all the Intel and AMD processors are supporting second level address translation feature and the system in which we want to install Hyper-V feature should have at least 4 GB RAM installed on that and if you want to check the hardware compatibility you can verify it by opening PowerShell or command prompt and you can type a command that is system info in the output field of system info if all listed Hyper-V requirement have a value of yes it means your system support the Hyper-V feature and you can install Hyper-V role on that and if at any item you are getting no you can check the requirements and you can make the necessary changes and then you can install Hyper-V feature in your system because what happened sometime the Hyper-V or virtualization technology will be disabled from BIOS so what you can do you can say you can simply go to BIOS and you can enable virtualization technology from there and then you can install Hyper-V feature on your system after understanding the concept of Hyper-V now we will see how to install Hyper-V feature in a system to install Hyper-V feature go to control panel and if you are not having this icon on your desktop simply go to search option and type control panel in control panel item if it is in large icon view click on program and feature option and if it is in category view under program click on uninstall a program option in program and features click on turn windows feature on or off and here you can get the hyper v option just check the hyper v option and click on 
ok now Hyper-V feature is installing in your system and once it is installed it will ask to reboot the system and after system reboot you can get Hyper-V feature on your system after system restart you can access Hyper-V feature from start menu or using search utility by typing Hyper-V click on Hyper-V manager now you can see Hyper-V feature is successfully installed in your system for more videos please like and subscribe hpitinfotech.com thank you